Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Forex Week in Review, the 28 majors and minors, and 7 exotics. And we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the pickings were pretty slim, and they are kind of for the summer. There were three good overall fades that uh, worked very well for the week. First one was New Zealand US dollar on one standard lot, $264 from start to finish. Cat Swiss Frank, another good one for $433. And the next one, which was the best one, was Cad Japanese Yen. Overall gained $558 on one standard lot. Now I did attempt to trade the US dollar Japanese Yen. They were the most extreme. But as you can see here, I had a couple of losses here. First one was down here for a loss of about $83. And then the second loss was about a loss of $288 on that overall short one standard lot. I'm still thinking that this overall turn is going to happen. If I, we look at, just don't know if there's another stair step up or continued price action to the upside. A couple things to take in mind when you're looking at currencies, of course, is the overall future. We do have a cot indice for the Japanese yen, and it is massively crowded short here at this point. So this overall Z3 long on the Japanese yen future could actually turn. However, there is a lot less volume going on this week. We'll see. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that the Nikkei, as Japanese yen goes down, the Nikkei generally tends to go up. And what we have here, this is the uh, Nikkei yen, is an overall surge to the upside, massively crowded short, and it has a cut indice to the upside. And that's the Nikkei yen. And if you look at the Nikkei dollar, which is, which is similar in terms of the charts, it's just uh, mixed here, but almost a cut indice to the upside too as well. Could the yen and the Nikkei go up at the same time? Unlikely, but it's just interesting to see this actually happen. Everything is predicated on the dollar. And as you can see, it's massively crowded long with a cot indice to the downside. It has hit the Z3 excursion here and could potentially, is it, if it goes up, that means the N will continue to go down and the Nikkei will also go up generally in terms of overall probabilities. The more the dollar falls, the more the markets go up. The more dollar rises, the more the markets go down. Now, as the dollar rises, gold also goes down too as well. So we'll see what happens next week. But we have a lot of correlations happening here with the dollar and the rest of the foreign currencies. So just uh, make sure that you keep your eye on the on the overall dollar. Currency category also is all foreign currencies minus the U.S. dollar. And as you see here, we're starting to be more and more crowded short here at this point. No cod indice to help us out here for the foreign currencies, but you can see what kind of effect the dollar going up has on the overall foreign currencies. Uh, this week was down, and last week was down too as well, as far as an overall batch trade. So for next week, we have strong selling positioning for the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar, Aussie dollar, Swiss franc, Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, British pound, Canadian dollar, British pound, Swiss franc, British pound, Japanese yen, New Zealand CAD, New Zealand Swiss franc, New Zealand Japanese yen, US dollar, Brazilian real, US CAD, US Swiss franc, US Japanese yen, of course, still massively crowded short here. Has a COD index differential, but US dollar, South African RAND, and South African Japanese yen. Uh, only one strong buying positioning, and that is Swiss franc, South African RAND. The rest have weak selling positioning or mixed in this case and as I look at the COD indice with a COD index differential in support it's a mixed bag for next week. You know, one of the things that I want to kind of highlight here is that next week is the 4th of July weekend usually a day prior and during a federal holiday the Forex gets rather choppy and poor volume and basically poor trading overall. It makes sense that for this week there really are no very high probability fades here. One to keep your eye on, of course, is the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. We'll see if this actually kicks off for both the U.S. dollar and the Japanese yen. Well, that, folks, that's all I have for the Forex Week in Review. We're currently conducting courses 
for these kind of strategies. If you're interested in these strategies, both programming in PineScript or Python, auto trading, and understanding the commitment of traders tables here through a community on Crowded Market Report, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.